just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us. Sue Saint Martin. It is our second time to Saint Martin, and uh, the first time we went to the best a beach uh, for adrenaline seekers <laughs> which is Ma Maho Beach and that's where airplanes land right from the beach into the airport strip and there is a lot of wind we were hoping for a nice relaxing beach day so we took a taxi from the port and came to Orient Beach which is on the French side and for those of you who don't know St. Martin is divided by two sides the Dutch side which is where the cruise ships dock and now Orient Beach is actually on the French side there are lots of taxis in port but there are four cruise ships and about 20,000 people today in port so getting a taxi was a little bit stressful but the taxi drivers are organized they put you in the in the right lane where you have to stay and wait and get you loaded into the van we were recommended this beach because they said it's really nice they have a, a lot of beach clubs here and stuff and upon arriving here uh, we noticed right away that the water is very choppy there's no one really even swimming in the water they're just um, kite surfers actual surfers we saw someone it looks like you can um, skydive we saw someone came come down in a parachute um, and really that's about it today is a very windy day if you have been here at Orient Beach leave us a comment how was your experience was the water calm did you have a good time uh, we, uh, there is a lot of seagrass on the beach as well and um, we're thinking to actually leave yeah, we won't be staying here because when we were here the last time, there's also a beach right off the, um, of just a ferry ride away from the cruise. Right in town, In Phyllis town, Park. yes. And that beach was really calm when we were there last time. So we actually want to get in the water and enjoy the water. We can't do that here, obviously. We're not the type that just lays out in the sun and just drink all day. So we want to get in the water. So we'll probably take another cab back onto the Dutch side and hit another beach and see what it's like but before we leave just to let you know i am going to do a complete walking tour of this beach and we're going to link that video at the end of this video and that's this way you can see exactly what the beach looked like i'm going to walk from one end to the next and just so you know this beach is divided into two sides they call it the regular side which is where we are and the reason we're here is because we're clothed because the other side is actually a nude side it's a nude beach so French can, people like uh, to be nude, yes. apparently. You can ask the, the taxi to drop you off on that side, or they just drop you off on this side, and you could just walk around to that side if you choose to. Mm -hmm. So, again, I'm going to start my walking tour now. Irina's just going to get Wi-Fi and try to get some more information. Again, I'll link the video to this walking tour towards the end of this video or down in the description. The taxi ride is $8 per person each way, so it's going to cost us just $36 just to take a look at this beach and leave. All the beach clubs here are definitely a vibe. Yes, there are so many different beach clubs and the food on their menu, we saw them bring out food to different people and the food looks amazing. They even have an area where they keep fresh lobster, uh, spiny lobsters and they grill it right here they're fresh they're alive and then they cook them and it just looks amazing the, the and portions seeing that it's a french side mm -hmm. they all the prices here are listed in euros yes. and the lobster goes by grams 100 grams of lobster is uh, 8 euros so depending how big uh, the lobster is so one pound is 422 grams so they will charge you about four times <laughs> and uh, depending on the lobster if you get about uh, one and a half pound small lobster that would be about 60 60 dollars and we got some drinks here they look really beautiful cheers to you to you so let's head out to the other beach we just made it back to the dutch side we are now in Philipsburg. yes and this is a cute little town and just a block away there's the beach so inland here 
there's a lot of stores you can get a lot of shopping done um, if I do get a chance I'll do a walking tour and I will post it also at the end of this video but for now uh, we're going to be heading over to the beach and relaxing and going for a little bit of swim so we'll show you what that looks like and coming back usually all the Caribbean islands taxi work based on how many people are riding it so coming back it was only two of us so it was the rate was not eight dollars per person anymore the rate went up we paid 25 dollars for two people it's not that much of a big difference but just keep it in mind and here we are at Great Ray Beach, Ray Gray Beach, well, Phillipsburg Town Beach. It is right next to the ferry. You can see the cruise ship dock is right behind us. And you can see the difference from the Orient Beach. The water is calm. This is the Caribbean Sea. The beach is clean. There are lots of chairs and umbrellas. And the good thing about it is, is that it's really close to the cruise ship. So if you have a fear of missing your cruise ship because you might want to go to a further beach by taking a local taxi, you could always come here and guarantee that, you know, you're going to get um, to lay out in the sun and the cruise ship is always in sight. And it's way cheaper to come here than to go to one of the further beaches as well. But in all fairness, we did go to the Orient Beach in a bad timing because the hurricane just passed and they had a lot of seaweed if it wasn't for seaweed and the waves i think we would have had a really good time at that beach as well and i really love the vibes of the beach bars and all the clubs uh, over there and the food was pretty good as well and yeah. the drinks as well as you can see behind us right now we've turned around the ferry is just behind us so it's just a couple minutes walk from the bars and the restaurants and the hotels here onto the ferry and just like an eight minute boat ride, ferry ride over to the cruise deck. The water is so clean, cl crystal clear and warm. And uh, this is our second time here on this beach. And if you want to see what we did the first time we were here, we will leave the link in the description below. But so much for yapping. We're about to jump in, relax under this cool, clear waters before we get back on the ship so when it comes to the umbrellas two chairs and one umbrella at the orient beach is 35 dollars and it does not come with drinks here on this beach they give you deals if you get umbrellas and cheers and they give you a bucket of beer and the rates here are cheaper i think it's about 25 dollars for some beers and two chairs and um, umbrellas but jbo pro tip if you walk further away from the ferry the prices do get cheaper and if you don't want drinks you can actually bargain with them and ask them for an even a better rate if you do not get drinks and if you're coming pretty late maybe just for a couple of hours uh, around 3 p.m you can even get chairs for as low as five dollars as we mentioned before there is a ferry right next to the beach you can take the taxi you can actually walk to the port or you can take the ferry back to the cruise ship port purchase your ferry tickets at the cruise ship terminal you they will give you um, a band for wristband for round trip but if you want to take the ferry back there is no ticket booth at the Phillipsburg ferry terminal so they just let you on the ferry and when you walk out when they see you do not have a wristband you have to pay five dollars per person Yes, it is finally dinner night and tonight is the Caribbean night. The dinner menu looks fantastic. I am really excited. Wow, our dinner was excellent. It's actually very rare when we are sailing on cruise ships and we are actually looking forward to main dining room dinner. And here it's not only just about 
the food it's actually about the staff our servers have just been incredible in so many different ways we actually look forward to coming and chatting with them so now we're getting ready to go and see the ice show it is the first night it's actually premiering so we're running a little bit behind the clock so we will see you at the ice skating show we came 15 minutes before the show and the theater was already packed we were pretty lucky to get some seats i've seen other shows on the royal caribbean this one is called ice odyssey Overall, I think the show was great, definitely worth watching. Yes. Actually, what I did like about this show is that they did uh, crowd participation. They pulled someone from out the audience, put them in a chair and kind of spun them around the whole ice rink, which is really cool. Um, and the crowd really got into it. So I think it was really cool. And definitely, if you get a chance to see this show, come and see it. Just note that you have to get here early because this theater is not that big and it fills up very fast. Thank you for sticking around with us this entire day. We had a blast in St. Martin. We will leave the links to previous stops in the description below. And tomorrow we are heading to St. John Antigua. Yes. So be sure to subscribe because we have a lot of content coming your way, a lot of cruise content, and be sure to like the video. It helps the video out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And as, as usual, usual, just be, be out, out with us. us. Cheers.